Keisha. Okay, it's Keisha. Wednesday, September 4th, and I'm on my way to County Leitrim to visit my grandmother's grave. This is the highway across Ireland. It's called the N7, and it goes all the way up to Sligo. Okay, it's noon. Wednesday, September 4th, and I'm stopping by Lauch Owl, which in Gaelic, I'm not sure what it means. I think it means Lake Owl, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I stop here on the way to the border counties to visit my grandmother's grave, and I'm stopping here for lunch. This is Lake Owl, or Owl Lake. Coming up on the Drumsna exit, heading toward Jamestown. This is where all of my ancestors grew up. Here's the Drumsna exit. Okay, we're here near the graveyard, and what you're looking at ahead is an ancient village named Mung, M O N G, and it's over a thousand years old. Now on top of the hill, that mound, that was a village a thousand years ago. And now it's just plain and flat. But we're heading to the church now. Saint, the the St. Patrick's Catholic Church in Gowell, near the graveyard. Okay, we're across the street from the St. Patrick's Catholic Church of Gowell, where my great-grandmother, Bridget Morin, was married. We're across the street from there looking at an old mountain. On the top of the mountain is a Catholic cross. Now I'm going to swing around to the church. And there's a church where my great-grandmother was married. Let me see if I can back it up. There you go. That's a church. There's a bell tower there. There's a bell tower on the other side. And there's the rectory, Catholic rectory. Okay, we're going inside now. Okay, we're inside now. Let me get my holy water. Put our son Holy Spirit. And we're going in now. Now here is a plaque inside the church that's indicating that my Mormon ancestors contributed the the podium inside here. So we're going to go take a look at that real quick. Here's the church. Beautiful, isn't it? God bless St. Patrick. All right, here's the altar. There's a the podium dedicated by my ancestors. Nice Celtic podium. Nice altar. Okay, we're going to the graveyard. Okay, so here we are at the St. Patrick's Cemetery. It's an ancient old cemetery. This is where all of my ancestors, the Morans or the Morans, are buried. Give you an idea what it looks like. I'm on the road out in front of it. There's the road going way down in one direction. I'm walking over so you can see the graveyard. Now, importantly here, one of my Morans is a bishop who actually lived up on Mung, up in the village in Mung a thousand years ago. And he oversaw this whole area. And he oversaw the cemetery. The cemetery was around then. He's buried down below. We'll go have a look. I'll take you to my grandmother's gravesite and then we'll go down to Bishop Morin's and he's one of ours. Now we're inside the cemetery 
and here's the path we go down to grandmom's right down here we just keep walking down here and we'll approach grandmom's grave I'll show you that's my grandmother's grave I care for her here I come and visit and clean the grave up and do what I can it's a beautiful grave this is where I'll be buried now we continue on down the stairwell here and we'll go down to the old area of the graveyard a thousand plus years old and this is where Bishop Warren is buried here's the entrance way through to the ancient cemetery area this is where Bishop Warren is here is the Bishop Morin. Here lay the Bishop Morin, one of my ancestors. He occupied the hillside up on the top of the hill, Mung, and he oversaw everything going on down in this valley area. And let me get a little closer. You know the notice the cap on top? That's a gargoyle that came from an old church back when he was buried here. And it's a uh, Catholic Bishop Gargoyle Head, is what it is. And down below here is all the information of my, my ancestor, Bishop Warren. And apparently they made a new grave. About 70 years ago they erected a new grave. And there were my relatives that came here to Ireland from America and at one point came and visited Bishop Warren and erected a new gravestone. So that gravestone there is, is pretty old. There you go, Bishop Warren, one of my own. We think that this old gravestone behind Bishop Warren's current gravestone was his original. That's what we think. And of course, here's where his body lay. There is an, his entombment above the ground in a casket of stone above the ground. And again, there's the meter, an old gargoyle of a Catholic bishop from a church placed on top of his grave in 1166 when he died. Okay, that's it. I'm going home.